Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G-Shrimp. You know everybody favorite baby daddy. You know the horse of the street. And today, we in North Carolina with it, y'all. You know, same old shit, different day. Same shit happened to all the other rappers that happened to this guy, y'all. In case y'all don't know, I'm talking about J.D. the Young, and y'all see us all over the internet, everywhere you turn. All the YouTubers talk about the same thing. A lot of times, I be trying not to do that, y'all, because I try to be different from some of these guys but sometimes that's what's in the news that's what's in the news man and then i got a few other fans they told me they like gee fuck what they doing we want to hear that show out so since i got people who want to hear me tell it i guess that's what it is and i love y'all for that man i appreciate it because sometimes we need the encouragement y'all even if it comes from just one person one comment or whatever it is okay so jay the younger i was gonna play some of his music but i I ain't really got shit I like. I don't know. I Googled the man's name and, you know, I, I know who he is, though. This nigga, nigga want to be like NBA Young Boy so bad. Oh, he wants to be an NBA Young Boy so bad. This the same nigga, y'all, that when NBA Young Boy went to jail, he made a song and put him and NBA on the song and started playing it. I guess he thought NBA was going to like it, right? NBA young boy like, bitch ass nigga, take that shit down. I don't fuck with you like that. Boy, the nigga took the song down so quick, goddamn it, you just thought they was in the same room together. That nigga didn't want no smoke with NBA, NBA young boy, man. And then he wait till NBA young boy goes to jail and start doing a lot of talking this and that this and that you know a lot of little petty shit little in that shit some of the shit the media probably was pouring gas on you know blowing it up but it was everywhere like nba saying a lot of people watch what you say out your mouth because you know that shit gonna hit the street you already know it's gonna hit the street so watch what you say especially when you're a celebrity or entertainer youtuber whoever the fuck you is watch what you say because this shit hit the street right so he down in north carolina doing a show or something and um, I don't know how the guys got up on him, you know. He said security was trying him to get out the club. I guess the club got a little rowdy. They do that shit on purpose, y'all, to start a ride so they could snatch the boy chain. They snatched the chain. He said they didn't take it from him. They, his security grabbed him, was getting him out of there. It failed and somebody picked it up. I don't know. I wasn't there, y'all. I stay in Chicago. <laughs> I don't know. But. I always say this, you guys need to have better security. Or better yet, this is what the problem is too, man. You guys making a lot of money. Okay, yeah, we understand that. All that, Jerry, you don't really need it, man. You're just making yourself a walking target. And you got to realize, people, you're not guaranteed to walk away from these stick-ups, man. You know, you, you ever heard Ice Cube old record said, broke nigga make the best crooks? And with a motherfucker broke, man, he'll try to pull it. And putting a hole in your ass don't mean nothing to him, dog. All he want to do is take that motherfucker to the pawn shop, try to sell it. And nowadays, they ain't even going to the pawn shop. They going to the internet and want to try to make you buy it back. Stop wearing. This is how you do. If you flossing at a, a photo shoot or you go out in public somewhere, to a, a event in the daytime, yeah, flex your diamonds and shit, all that. At night, when you go do a concert or a club, you don't even have to wear no jewelry. For what? Everybody know who you is in the club. So what you need the biggest motherfucker chain on for what? You just making the haters mad, you know. And you know, these haters got pistols in the club, man. And you know, I'm gonna might kill you, man. I don't get killed for none of this little materialistic ass shit. I'm telling you. I be trying to tell you guys, man, to watch your backs and all that. How you some legal security and you ain't doing it? Okay. But I also know another reason, right? It's always two sides of different story, y'all, right? Uh, If you hire security, y'all, let's say security might cost you 2000 a night. It's more than that, but I'm just using this for example, right? Let's say you got this two, four, six, eight, ten. That's one week, right? You done went out. And that's just five days. That's ten. So you it's just safe. You go out. Now you just spent all this, this ten thousand dollars for one week. And nothing happened. You go wake up and say, Man, I ain't finna keep paying these motherfuckers to man walk around with me and shit and ain't nothing happening. Yeah, that's why they call it snoozing. Niggas get you when they think you snoozing. 
they're not going to run up on you when you got the security. What's your thought? Yeah, so they waited on the day where you didn't have them big-ass niggas and them cars following you, and they get down on you. So, either way it go, if you ain't just going to spend the bread, period, man, man, ain't nothing more important than your motherfucking life, fam. Nothing. Not this little cheap-ass jewelry we be wearing. None of that shit is more important than your life. So, if you go cost you uh, $10,000 a week to protect your life, then so be it. Just limit how you move sometimes. Stop going every goddamn where. You don't got to be at every event everywhere, you know. Stay in the house sometimes. You know what I mean? Your house should be big as a motherfucker. You should have your own bowling alley in the house. Your own do man, please. Wait till my bag get that big. My little bag growing, 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 growing every day. I'm going to have an east end and west wing, man. I'm going to have bitches I don't even like staying in the house, man. You hear me? I'm going to put a baby mama on this east end. The east wing, I'll put my other baby mama on the motherfucking west wing. Them bitches they ain't never got to talk to each other. I might not never stay none to none of their ass pit, but they'll be down there. When you get ready, Drew, you can go down there. I'll go down there. Get on the golf cart and ride two blocks down in your own mansion. You know what I mean? Make shit convenient for yourself, man. You know what you out here chasing these women for anyway? Half of them know the niggas that got the guns. They go get you killed anyway. You know what I mean? They'll get you hurt anyway. That's why I like fucking with people I know. You know, I'm gonna fuck around and get you hurt, man. Especially when you're playing with that real money, y'all. Real money. Man, that's what it is. So, that's what's going on, man. Your boy Jada Younger done got stuck up, man, and took his little chain. The goon said, yeah, sell it back to him. He going in there, said he ain't paying him shit. So, guess what? He ain't gonna have his time. Fuck it, man. It's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody's favorite baby daddy, man. Go subscribe to that channel. Like, share, do all that good shit, man. Go get them t shirts, man. Oh, all oh, the ladies just. Oh, my God. I'm gonna make another video in a minute, y'all. I got all the subscribers. I got a bunch of new subscribers. I gotta shout y'all names out. There's some people bought some shirts. I gotta get, get y'all on here, too, man. This just something I just ran with. I'll be back a little later on. I'm gonna go live in a little bit. Let me see. What time is it? It's, it's 5 o'clock. I'm going to go live by 8 o'clock, y'all. It's your boy G-Shrimp. I'm out of here.